Welcome to Introduction to Accounting, Preparing for a User's Perspective. Compute and understand the inventory turnover ratio. What can the inventory turnover ratio tell you? The inventory turnover ratio indicates how effective and efficient management is at purchasing inventory from suppliers and selling it to customers. When management holds inventory too long, bad things can happen to it. For example, milk can go bad. Computing technology can become obsolete. Fads can pass and oversupply can result. Some products, such as Christmas trees, only have seasonal demand. So it is essential that management know its product, its business, its industry, and its sales cycle to ensure it doesn't wind up with too many Christmas trees the day after Christmas. The higher the inventory turnover ratio, the fewer days sales of inventory it has, and in general, the better it is for the company. However, because different industries tend to have different inventory turnover ratios, if you want to make a fair assessment of management, you should compare companies' ratios to competing companies in the same industry. For example, it wouldn't make a lot of sense to compare the ratios of a grocery store with an inventory turnover ratio of 24 to those of a high-end jewelry store with an inventory turnover ratio of only 4. Because the two industries are so different, a comparison of their inventory turnover ratios would probably not reveal very much about their management's effectiveness and efficiency because they operate under different circumstances. Grocery stores turn their inventory over more often, but tend to have lower gross margins. Jewelry stores turn their inventory over less often, but tend to have higher gross margins. Both companies, however, have the ability to be very profitable. If a business were able to turn its inventory over every month, about every 30.42 days, it would have an inventory turnover ratio of 12 times per year, meaning it purchases and sells an amount equal to its average inventory balance, which includes raw materials, work in process, and finished goods inventories, 12 times per year. When a company has a high inventory turnover ratio, it will have a low number of days sales sitting in inventory. If it has a low inventory turnover ratio, it will have a high number of days sales of inventory. The days sales of inventory ratio effectively says, if we stop buying inventory today, how many days will it take us to sell up all of our remaining inventory? Let's assume that two banana retailers, Brown Banana Co. and Yellow Banana Co., and inventory turnover ratios of 5 and 60, respectively. Assuming bananas ripen within one week of being picked, which company's management appears to be doing a horrible job at getting the bananas sold before they overripen and have to be thrown away? Which of the two companies is probably on the quickest path to failure because of its inability to efficiently and effectively manage its banana purchases and sales? As with the AR turnover ratio, a company's day's sales of inventory is computed by dividing 365 by the number of times the company turns its inventory over each year. Brown Banana Co. has 73 days sales of inventory on hand, 365 days per year divided by 5 inventory turnover ratio. Yellow Banana Co. has 6.08 days sales of inventory on hand, 365 days per year divided by 60 inventory turnover ratio. Per the computations above, Brown Banana Co. needs 73 days to sell its bananas, whereas Yellow Banana Co. only needs 6 days to sell its bananas. Yellow's shorter day sales of inventory indicates that its management is able to more quickly get its bananas sold to customers. By selling its inventory more quickly, as compared to Brown, Yellow will probably be more able to sell its bananas before they turn brown, sell its bananas at full price, lower its inventory carrying costs, and increase liquidity to pay off current liabilities when they come due. In general, a low inventory turnover ratio and a high number of days sales of inventory can be a sign of ineffective and inefficient inventory and sales management. For example, management may be purchasing and or producing too much inventory based on incorrect estimates of customer demand, possibly resulting in inventory spoilage holding inventory too long rather than discounting it to get it sold, possibly resulting in inventory obsolescence, using an ineffective sales and marketing strategy, possibly resulting in reduced sales. In general, a high inventory turnover ratio and low day sales of inventory is a sign of effective and efficient inventory and sales management. But when a company's day sales of inventory becomes too short, it can also create problems. For example, a company with only a few days sales in inventory may actually experience stock outs resulting in customers purchasing the stocked out item from the company's competitors.
For example, when we have hurricane warnings in Hawaii, some grocery stores have stock outs on various food items as people rush to get prepared for the oncoming storm. Many successful businesses purposely choose to hold more inventory than is immediately needed for one or more of the following reasons. Cycle stock. Management repurchases additional inventory based on a given reorder point. For example, some companies simply draw a red line on the product shelf and decide to reorder whenever their inventory drops below the red reorder line. Others use sophisticated and automated just-in-time reordering systems. Safety stock. Management purchases additional inventory during key selling seasons to handle seasonal demand, such as for the Christmas shopping season. Psychic stock. Management purchases additional inventory to ensure its store shelves are always totally full to give customers the feeling that the company has more than enough to meet their needs. Stores that look empty tend to drive customers away. All three of these reasons for purchasing excess inventory will tend to reduce the number of times a company turns its inventory over and will increase its day's sales of inventory, resulting in increased inventory carrying costs. But such increased costs are often justified by being able to reduce stockouts and increase customer satisfaction. Managing inventory on hand is a balancing act between having either too much or not enough inventory on hand. When companies don't have enough inventory, they can miss out on sales. If they have too much, they will incur higher inventory carrying costs. How do you compute the inventory turnover ratio? The inventory turnover ratio is computed as follows. Cost of goods sold per the current year income statement divided by average inventory, where average inventory is computed as the beginning inventory at the beginning of this year plus the ending inventory at the end of this year divided by two. Example, assume company A incurred $1,000 of cost of goods sold during the year. Its beginning inventory was $170, its ending inventory was $230, totaling to $400, which is then divided by 2 for an average inventory balance of $200. Its inventory turnover ratio would be 5 as follows. This means that on average, company A was able to purchase $200 worth of inventory and then sell it, then purchase $200 worth of inventory and then sell it, etc. five times during the year. But what really does a 5 mean? Unless you compare it to the past, compare it to competitors, or use it to compute the number of days it takes the company to sell its inventory, the inventory turnover ratio is kind of a useless number. If we were to take 365 days and chop it up into 5 equal collection periods, we would realize that the company takes 73 days to sell its inventory computed as follows. 365 days per year divided by inventory turnover ratio of 5 equals 73 days. Now, if the industry normally takes only 20 days to sell its inventory, it would seem that company A's management is not very effective or efficient at getting its inventory sold. Let's now tie the inventory turnover ratio and the day's sales of inventory together to show that if you already know three of the four variables, you can solve for the missing one. Let's assume that Nuco has 28 days sales of inventory, and you know it has cost of goods sold of 40 million. Can you use your understanding of the inventory turnover ratio and the day's sales of inventory to solve for Nuco's average inventory balance? The answer is yes, you can. Just review the math and related video discussion below. If we know that there are 365 days per year in this formula, and we're wondering what the inventory turnover ratio is, it would have to be 13.03, because if you take 365 divided by 28 days, it will give you the inventory turnover ratio. Now that we know the inventory turnover ratio, we can then solve for the average inventory. Because if cost gets sold divided by something equals average inventory, we can switch these two and solve for average inventory, which is 3.07 million. You should be able to go either direction and solve for unknown variables. How do you use the inventory turnover ratio? Once we know what a company's inventory turnover ratio is and how many days it takes to sell its inventory, we should take our analysis one step further and compare the company's ratios to its own ratios from prior years to determine whether its management is getting more or less effective and efficient at managing its inventory and sales. Please review the inventory turnover ratios and the day's sales of inventory periods for the years noted below to determine whether you think management has improved or gotten worse at managing its inventory and sales. Due to the fact that the company's inventory turnover ratio is decreasing, and its day's sales of inventory is increasing, it would appear that management is holding its inventory for a longer period of time, which could lead to spoilage, obsolescence, and an overall increase in inventory carrying costs. 
In addition, as noted previously, WISE users will also compare a company's inventory turnover ratio and days of inventory to the industry averages as a means of benchmarking its performance as indicated in the example below. If Yellow Banana Company has an inventory turnover ratio of 60 and is therefore taking 6.08 days to sell its inventory, but the industry has an average inventory turnover ratio of 84.89 and is taking only 4.3 days to sell, Yellow Banana Company management might want to review its inventory and sales processes to ensure that it is being as effective and efficient as possible. In summary, you should be able to define and compute the inventory turnover and days sales of inventory ratios. Use these ratios to assess management's ability to properly manage its inventory as compared to its own past performance as well as to its industry. Good luck on the quiz!